Hey YouTube, what's up? And today I'll be showing you how to enable extensions on Safari 5, uh, which is Apple's new version of Safari that just came out, I believe, two days ago from the time, your, uh, from the time this video was posted. But uh, just to let you know before I get started, I have been hearing your requests and I will be filling them as uh, time allows, so uh, just be patient. I'm working on them right now, so uh, be ready to see them on the channel here real soon. So, uh, first of all, I'll show, I don't know, let's get into the video, or next, sorry. But, so, uh, here is a Safari 5. As you can see, I've got an extension already here, but it's not that kind of extension. So, I'm going to actually go into my preferences here. And, uh, to enable it, you're going to actually have to hit Advanced, Show Developer Menu. So, so now you're going to go up here to the Developer, and hit Enable Extensions. And once you do that, it's going to reset preferences. Now you have an extensions tab. So you can actually go and turn off the developer menu. So let's go on and install a few of these here to show you how this works. So uh, there's one down here I really like. Adblock is now live for Safari. So I can click here and it'll install the extension or download the extension. It'll double click on it and it'll say would you like to install this extension Adblock. So I'll hit install and it keeps doing that for some reason. Not sure why. And let's see if it actually added it. It's been doing that to me every now and again. And no, it did not install Adblock. See, it, it still has its bugs with extensions. And then whenever you're done with the extension, it actually takes it to the trash. It's kind of weird. Let's try a different extension. So, uh, uh, push a button, receive google.urls. Google That'll actually, it's like a shorten your URLs. There, there's tons of these here, guys. So, uh, Actually, there's not tons. There's a handful of them, but there are some really good ones here. So uh, let's do uh, this one right here. It actually turns the web page into a .png. So this take and there it is. To check it out. Next, this time I'm going to take it out of the downloads and stick it into the desktop. Install. And this one actually installed. So what you'll see here is that you've actually got a button right here that says Snap. I'm going to go to like Apple.com with a new iPhone 4. So I'm going to click on that button. It says uh, snapshot done. You can now be converted. So basically this is all an image now. So I can basically just take this and drag it to my desktop. And now it's an image. You can see it's a .png. And I can use Quick Look to look at it. And that's a really easy way to take snapshots. One thing is it's kind of hard to get back to the original website. So anyway, let's go back here, back to the extension. So let's try Adblock one more time because I really wanted to show you guys how that worked. So Adblock for Safari is now I click here to install the extension. So once again we're going to drag it off into the desktop here make it easier it looks like. Install. And this time it actually installed it. And here's a button where you can configure Adblock. But so let's go in and I'll show you some website with some ads. So here's phonedog.com. It's going to load it up. And there would be ads right here, around all over the place. There would be ads. So there, here's another one, MacWorld.com. As you can see, there would be an ad here. There's usually a few ads in here. And it actually formats the website kind of like there should not be an ad here. So let's try another one. Uh, what was it? AppleInsider.com? Yeah, that was one. And normally there's ads over here to the side. They're down here at the bottom. They're everywhere. They're even, you know, between these uh, posts sometimes totally gone so you don't have to look at those nasty ads anymore. And also we're removing from YouTube videos, whatever, so you never have to worry about these again. So uh, I will be posting uh, how to get some room with the website in the description on how you can be getting uh, these extensions. They're really cool and I believe Apple is, is going to be opening up, opening up a gallery here in a few uh, weeks to actually show off all of these extensions. And uh, so that's about it, YouTube. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later, YouTube. You have a great day.